I want to discuss something that was raised by one of our clients. Google has this very interesting and useful feature uh, found by Google, and they will uh, check your website, discover products, and add them automatically to Google Merchant. All fine, right? Well, sometimes you want to exclude some products. You don't want to upload everything to Google Merchant. Maybe some of your products don't follow Google's own uh, terms and your account will get in trouble. Maybe you have other reasons. So what can you do when this happens? Uh, I will show you exactly what to do, how you can, uh, you can control these um, found by Google products inside your Google Merchant, and what can you do if you use our feed plugin to upload your products into Google Merchant? Because Pixel Your Site, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site, we have um, a feed plugin that creates a feed with products, and you can use the feed URL inside Google Merchant, and this feed can contain only the products that you really want to send to Google Merchant. So first of all, where is this page? It's uh, inside my merchant account. From here, go to view data sources. You will end up on this page found by Google. And there are several options, including stop. You cannot see all the text, but it says stop managing products. And this is um, the option you should use if you want to exclude these products uh, and uh, use the one uploaded using uh, your feed, only selected products. Uh, allow ads for products found by Google, so the opposite. If you click this, Google will, will promote such products and hide all automatically found products. Uh, I think this will exclude actually these products from uh, the account. I'm not sure what it does. I didn't try this option. So uh, maybe you should read before. Hmm, maybe I should read before making this video. Sorry about that. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is that you can manage what happens with these products and you should, if you want to turn off uh, this uh, option, stop managing products. Okay, use this stop managing products option and Google will uh, stop uh, finding and adding products automatically. And we have a secondary um, source here, which is our own feed. So if you use Pixel Site Feed plugin, this plugin right here, our feed plugin, uh, if you use our plugin, you have various ways to include or exclude products from a feed. First of all, edit the feed. We have filters with various options. You can select what categories to go into the feed. You can select what product type, stock status, sell. You can only send uh, products that are on sale or not on sale uh, and visibility. And of course, some other uh, features here, including price bigger than or smaller than. So very, um, very flexible options. But you can also edit a product, look for our uh, product catalog uh, options and exclude this particular product from the feed. So you can exclude individual products or you can edit a category and exclude this category completely from the feed. Again, exclude this category. Or you can have a tag and exclude this tag. So this is a very useful um, feature because you can, it, it works this way, because you can create a tag that for and attach this tag to products that you want to exclude if you have multiple products and exclude this tag from the feed and boom, they will not be present in the feed. So there are multiple ways you can control which products will go into your Google Merchant account if you use our um, WooCommerce Fit plugin. That's it. I wanted just to tell you that, yes, Google has this great feature. Uh, yes, it can be useful, but if you want to have more control and send only some, the products that you really want to promote with Google Merchant and to avoid um, being penalized by Google if some of your products don't comply with their 
um, terms of use, well, this is what you can do. You can use our plugin and uh, use the various options to exclude uh, those products, those unwanted products. Uh, that's it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. As you can see, we have a feed plugin as well for WooCommerce, and we have a similar one for easy digital downloads. Uh, so we don't have only the tracking plugin, Pixel Your Site. We also have a consent plugin, which is pretty cool. Some other plugins as well. We are working to bring another plugin, which will do a very useful thing. I'm not going to tell you uh, what it is for now. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Like it, share it, and uh, of course, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.